Hello Morris class, it's Miss Bake here and welcome to your Friday maths lesson. Today is the 5th of February 2021. In front of you, you have your arithmetic. If you usually complete challenge one, then please complete challenge one arithmetic. And if you usually complete challenge two, then please complete challenge two arithmetic. Once you unpause the video and come back, we will go through the answers. Good luck Morris and see you in a few seconds. Okie dokie, welcome back Morris class and well done for working so hard with your arithmetic. Let's begin with challenge one, question one. We have 10, take away four. So I'm going to hold up 10 fingers and I'm going to take four away. One, two, three, four. How many do I have left? Six, well done. So 10 take away four equals six. The next question, I have 17 add three. I'm going to put 17 in my head. I'm going to hold up three fingers and I'm going to count on, okay? That means I'm going to count forwards. So that's 17, that's 18, that's 19, that's 20. Well done. 17 add three equals 20. Next, we have double four. So remember, when we have a question that is asking you for a double number that is below five, we can use our fingers. So double four, put four on one hand, put four on the other hand. What is double four? Eight, fantastic. Double four equals eight. Well done. Okay, next, we have two numbers that we take away from each other to make five. So we could start off with 10. 10 take away 5 equals 5. Or if we wanted to do 9, we do 9 take away 4. Now remember the pattern that we talked about yesterday. If this is 8, what number will this be? 5, 4, 3. Well done. And last one, 7 take away. Well done. 2 equals 5. So you can have any of those combinations. OK, now let's move on to the answers for challenge two, starting with question one. We have 59 add 11. Now, I could use my column addition for this question, but this one I can do in my head. So 259, I'm going to break up 11 and I'm going to break it up into 110 and 1. So what is 59 add 1? Well done, it's 60. So and what is 60 now add 10 equals 70. Fantastic. So 59 add 11 equals 70. Great stuff. Okie dokie. Next one, we have 5 multiplied by 3. So that's 5 lots of 3. So hold up 5 fingers and count in your 3s. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Now remember, Multiplication is commutative. So actually, we can hold up three fingers and count in our fives as well. It will give us the same answer. Let's try it out. Five, 10, 15. Well done. So five multiplied by three and three multiplied by five equals 15. Fantastic, Morris class. OK, now 10 add something equals 86. Now, remember, there's two ways to complete this question. Either I can count forwards from 10 all the way up to 86. Or I can take 10 away from 86. Now, if I start from 10 and I go all the way up to 86, that's going to take me a very long time. So I'm going to take away. I'm going to do 86, take away 10. Six take away zero is six. Eight take away one is seven. So 10 add 76 equals 86. Fantastic, Morris class. Now, for our last question extension, I will be looking on tapestry to see which three numbers you have added together to make 20. So, for example, if we do start with 10, we could do 10, add 5, add another 5 equals 20. Or we could do 10, add 9, add 1. Or we could do 10, add 8, add 2. Or we could do, we could do um, even 18, add one, add one. There are so many different combinations that we can think of um, to add three numbers together to make 20. So I will be checking on tapestry. Okay, now we are going to move on to the next part of our maths lesson. 
Starting with our learning objective. Our learning objective today is, can I share equally? Can I share equally? Well done. So we are going to continue to share equally from our yesterday's lesson. Okie dokie. Now, ooh, let's make myself a bit smaller so you can see what it says. It says, can you help me equally share these 12 sweets into four pots? So you are going to help me share these 12 sweets into four pots. Now remember, remember our song. One for you, one for me. Let's share all of our sweeties. Happy, happy sharing, please. One for you, one for me. So we need to do it one at a time. So let's do it one at a time. So one for you. Muted there and one for you and one for you and now one for you again one for you one for you all the way one for you and one for you one for you and one for you and last one one for you i shared equally i took my time i was careful and i shared one at a time so 12 oh, 12 shared equally between four pots equals three. So I started off with 12 sweets and I shared them equally into four pots or four groups. And I have three sweeties in each pot. So 12 shared equally between four. So 12 sweets altogether shared equally between four pots. Let's just double check that, that we got we have four pots. That's one pot. That's two pots. That's three pots. That's four pots. Yes. Yes, we have four pots. So 12 sweeties shared equally between four pots equals three in each pot. One, two, three. Fantastic, Morris. Let's move on to the next example. Oh, yummy cupcakes. OK, I'm going to try and make myself as small as possible because otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. OK, so the question is asking us, can you help me equally share these 18 muffins into three boxes? So here is box number one. Oops, sorry, I'm my pen ready. Here's box number one, here's box number two, and here is box number three. We are going to share these 18 muffins. Right, let's start sharing. Do do da 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 ba ba da ba 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 da Oh 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 I can hear a lot of children saying stop Miss Bates, stop What's happened, Morris class? Why do I need to stop? Oh dear, I wasn't sharing equally. No, you're right. I wasn't sharing one at a time. Let me start again. I'm a super learner, I can do this. Okay. Thank you, Morris class, for stopping me. Let's start again. One for you, one for me, one at a time. Okay, right. One for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you, one for you, one for you, da, da, da. one for you, one for you, and one for you. Now, remember, this is a long process. I'm doing it very, very carefully, Morris class. So it might be a little bit boring watching me share equally, but I need to make sure that I'm doing it very carefully, one at a time. And on my last one, yes, I did it. I equally shared 18 muffins into three boxes. So let's look at our STEM sentence. 18, so 18 muffins shared equally, I know I shared them equally, I did one at a time, between three boxes equals how many muffins are in each box, Morris class? Well done, six, and we can double check that by counting. We have one, two, three, four, five, oh, five, six. So 18 shared equally between three boxes equals six. 18 shared equally between three equals six. Well done. Fantastic. Okie dokie. At the top, it says here are 20 green balls. They have been shared equally. So they've already been shared equally one at a time for us. Our job, Morris class, is to complete the stem sentence below. So pause the video here and have a look at the stem sentence. Here is a stem sentence over here. OK, that's a stem sentence. Pause the video here and have a look. Can you complete it? Okay, are you ready? 
Right, so how many balls are there all together? Well done, 20. And we know that because it's in the question. So 20 shared equally between how many boxes are there? How or how many groups? How many groups do we have all together? Well done, we have five groups. Now, how many dots are in each group? Or balls, sorry. How many balls are in each group? Four, fantastic. Now, can you say the stem sentence with me? 20 shared equally between five equals four. 20 shared equally between five equals four. Well done, Morris class. Thank you for helping me with that example. Can you now help me with this example? Can you? Thank you. So here are 14 cubes. They have been shared equally. Complete the stem sentence. So how many cubes are there all together, Morris class? Well done. Thank you for saying it to your screen. There are 14 cubes. So I'm going to complete my stem sentence. 14 shared equally between how many groups are there, Morris class? That's one group and that's two groups. So equally between sh um, shared equally between two groups equals. Now, how many cubes are in each group? Can you pause the video here, count and then tell your screen? Well done, seven, seven in each. And let's just double check that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. So let's say the stem sentence together. 14 shared equally between two equals seven. 14 shared equally between two equals seven. Well done. So we had 14 cubes all together. Now there were two groups and one at a time they were shared. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. And then we were left with two equal groups and there are seven in each group. So 14 shared equally between two equals seven cubes in each group. Well done. Let's move on to the next part of your lesson. So this is the part where you need to complete your activity, Morris class. So please go and grab yourself something to write on and write with if you don't have that with you already. And once you return, I will explain what you need to do for question number one, challenge one. OK, so qu challenge one, question one. It says draw 12 flowers and share them equally between 12 groups. So uh, sorry. Draw 12 flowers and share them equally between six groups. <laughs> so first thing that you're going to do is, if you do not want to draw 12 flowers, what you can do is you can just grab 12 objects. Okay, so grab 12 objects. It could be rice, it could be pasta, it could be anything, and then share them into six groups. So I'm going to go and grab some objects and I'm going to show you how you can complete this question. Bear with me a second, Morris class. Okay, Morris class, I am back. And in front of you, you can see I have some objects. Now, first, I'm going to count to see if I have 12. So let's count. I've got, I'm going to count in my twos. I've got two, I've got four, I've got six, I've got eight, I've got 10, and I have 12. Now, I am going to share these equally between six groups. Now, can you see my six groups? Let me bring this a bit forward. No, that's not what I need to do. There you go. So I've got, oh, let me put my pillow straight. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six groups here. Now I'm going to share my Skittles equally between these six groups. I'm going to do it one at a time. One for you and one for you. One for you, 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 and one for you. So I have now shared them equally. So how many Skittles do I have in each group, Morris class? Well done. So now you don't have to write the stem sentence, but I'm just going to write it at the top. So 12 
shared. Oh, I'm going to have to sort out my handwriting. Shared. 12 shared. Hopefully that's the right way around. Shared equally. I'll just put an equally between. Oh, I have to write it here. Between six equals so twelve shared equally between six equals well done equals two fantastic well done so this is how I've shown you how to share twelve skittles between six groups six equal groups and I have two skittles in each group and if in case you're wondering these look like they don't look like skittles these are the jumbo skittles so that's why they look a lot bigger okie dokie enough promotion of skittles let's get back to our maths lesson dun, 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 dun. challenge one there we go now it says 12 draw 12 flowers if you would like you could do the exact same that i've done on my piece of paper but you can draw the flowers okay so i'm putting my skittles back in my bag now um and i'll close the bag i'll move this piece of paper out the way did i write it correctly let me check oh dear i didn't do that correctly at all never mind my writing upside down is 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 not the best i have to admit okie dokie now oh okay so that's your challenge one question one next you're going to complete the stem sentence for your question number two okay so it says something shared equally between something equals something so first you're going to count how many objects there were all together so i know that there is two in each one so you're going to start with two four six eight so eight shared equally between how many groups are there morris class well done so you put the number there and then how many objects are in each group well done so you put the number there and that is challenge one question number two challenge two question number three you are going to draw 21 flowers and share them equally between seven groups again just how i showed uh, for the question number one for challenge one you don't have to draw them if you don't want to just find objects around the house and take a picture of you uh, making equal groups okay so sharing equally remember you need to share one at a time that's how we make it equal and fair when we're sharing okie dokie next question number four complete the stem sentence so you're going to count how many cupcakes there are all together then you you're going to write the number of groups. OK, so I can see one, two, three, four groups here. And then you're going to write the number of objects in each group. So it's very similar to when we did when we made equal groups. OK, but this is we're sharing. Next one, question three, question number five. Oh, you can't see what it says there. It says draw 27 hearts and share them equally between two groups. So you need to draw 27 hearts or you could find 27 objects and share them equally between three groups. OK, next, complete the stem sentence. You'll need to count the total number of sweets. OK, then you need to, you need to write the number of groups that they are shared into. And then you need to write the number of objects in each group. OK, and your question number seven it says Daisy has 23 cupcakes. She has to share them equally between 10 plates. Can Daisy share 23 cupcakes equally between 10 plates? If yes or no, why? So I'm going to bring my tablet back. Now, this question, Morris class, which I've seen on tapestry, a lot of you are actually explaining your reasoning, which is fantastic. But there are still a few children who are just writing uh, let me just give you an example. They'll just write um, yes. OK, that is not what the question is asking you to do. So the question is asking you why. So you need to write instead of saying just the word yes, because that's not answering the question. You need to say. Um, can you share? So Daisy. Can share. 
23 cupcakes equally because, because, and then you need to write your reasoning, okay? So I'll be checking on tapestry to see if some children are still just writing yes or no. And your second question for your extension is, so pay attention, Morris, good listening. Alex has 20 sweets and shares them between five friends. Tommy has 20 sweets and shares them between 10 friends. Whose friends will receive the most sweets? How do you know? Again, this is asking how do you know? So you need to write either Alex's friends will have more sweets or Tommy's friends will have more sweets because, and then you explain your reasoning. Okie dokie, Morris class, we have come to the end of our maths lesson. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you're singing the lovely one for you, one for me sharing song. I know that I am. Um, take care for now. Have a lovely weekend. It's Friday today. So that Friday feeling. Have a lovely weekend. Stay at home. Stay safe. Stay indoors. And we will be seeing you very, very soon on Monday. Take care. Bye bye.